<coughs> Hello everyone, my name is Nikolai Sushenkov and today I'll present you the study on the topic polyurea coated glass fiber laminate under high speed impact experimental study. This work was made in Perm National Research Polytechnic University, Russia, at the Aircraft Engines Department in the collaborations with our colleagues from uh, Wolfson School of Mechanical, Electrical and Manufacturing Engineering from the Loughborough University. As we know, the use of fiber reinforced composites has risen considerably in airspace engineering and gas turbine technology because of their appropriate specific strength and stiffness. For all of these applications, the case of dynamic impact with the foreign object of different type is highly probable. Such type of collision can lead of serious consequences, including catastrophic ones. That's why, for example, the bird strike and the hailstone impact with the fan blade or the engine's nest seal are the crucial problems that must be solved during the design and the certification of new gas turbine engine. So one of the promising methods to increase the resistance of polymer composite materials to impact damage is the use of protective coatings. In our work we decided to study the effect of polyurea coating on ballistic resistance of layered fiber reinforced composite. We used a 42 layered unidirectional glass fiber laminate as a target. Uh, for the ballistic test, because uh, this material is much cheaper than the carbon fiber laminate, which you typically can find in different uh, airspace or gas turbine uh, application. But this material can perform the same mechanisms of fracture because of the similarity of the, its structure. So you can also see the mm, transparent. Uh, sample of the uh, polyurea cotton that was applied on the surface of the target with a constant thickness of 1.2 millimeters. Uh, the 23 and 8 millimeters diameter and 54 and 8 gram steel ball was used as a projectile. We also made test samples for mechanical testing, uh, test samples of glass fiber composite and polyurea to obtain the parameters of the laminate and the coating. The ballistic experiments was performed on the special test rig which contains pneumatic gun uh, assembled from compressor, receiver, fast valve and the barrel. Uh, the ballistic chronograph to measure muzzle velocity of the projectile and two Fortron high-speed cameras to capture the impact event from elevated front and the plan view. Uh, control of the experiment was performed by personal computer and PXI module of the National Instrument System. The specimens were aligned uh, with the barrel as it's shown on the picture and clamped on the one end. Uh, the presented test rig allows accelerate projectiles up to the speed from 40 to 500 meters per second. It's possible to use spherical, cylindrical and flat projectiles made of different materials with that test rig. Uh, the another available option is to obtain dynamic strain fields on the back surface of the target using DIC method. Uh, but in this case you need to reconfigure the cameras and put them behind the target at some angle between them to have the stereoscopic image. Uh, there were performed free loading cases during the ballistic tests. Uh, perpendicular impact at the center of a free part of the target without coating. Perpendicular a perpendicular impact at the center of the target with polyurea coating on its face and uh, the same impact but with the polyurea coating on the back of the target. Uh, there, were, there were four shots for each loading case with increasing impact velocity to evaluate the 
ballistic limit of the system in different configurations. As we can see, the specimen mass uh, was an average of 930 grams and the coating mass was about 70 grams. In this table you can see a full breakdown of the test parameters. Uh, the negative values of the resultant velocity refer to a projectile which rebounded off the target specimen. The main interest was in assessing the ballistic limit and the amount of uh, absorbed energy that the sample is able to absorb. Uh, the results obtained for the uncoated target were used as a reference to evaluate the effectiveness of the protective coating. The estimated ballistic limit for this case was between uh, 120 meters per second and 128 meters per second. So here we have a penetration and here we have no penetration. So the limit is something uh, somewhere between these two points. As we can see here, the most effective configuration uh, is when the protective coating is applied on the face surface of the target. We have obtained the ballistic limit between uh, 142 and 150 meters per second. Uh, with the amount of the absorbed energy, here we can see the 550 joules for this case. Th so this is the biggest amount that uh, our specimen was able to absorb. Uh, when the coating is on the back surface, uh, so the ballistic limit is quite the same as if there is no coating at all. The amount of absorbed energy was increased, uh, for example, you can see uh, here and here, it was increased only by 15 joules and uh, most likely this was due to the cost of delamination of the coating from the back surface which looks like the that it is the minor mechanism of absorbing the ballistic energy uh, by the fracture. So this means that uh, it can be that the no, it, it looks like the major mechanism that leads to an increase in the uh, absorbed energy of the target during a collision when the coating is on the face is the redistribution of the load from the projectile over the larger surface of the sample, which leads to a, an increase in the intralayer fracture inside the target in the delamination. Uh, at this slide we can see the process of a collision for most interesting loading cases. So no coating and the coating on the face. Uh, to compare the fourth and the fifth specimens which were loaded with the same speed of 128 meters per second. Had diff uh, so they had different shapes and the squares of the delamination zones that was visible from the surface. Th so the another uh, pro for uh, the glass fiber reinforcing composite is that you can see um, the delamination zones without any uh, tomography or uh, or any additional uh, methods. Uh, so for the fourth uh, specimen the delamination zone at the entry point uh, of the projectile has mm, the rump shape which is typical for the plane width structure of the lamina and the, for the fifth specimen the shape looks more like the ellipse with the bigger square area which means that the deformations were distributed by the coating in a manner not characteristic of plane weave. Uh, we can also see that the inner delamination zones visible from the back are bigger for the case uh, here than for the specimen number four. So it means that the redistribution works. Uh, so we also made some mechanical testing. Uh, the strain stress curves for polyurea at the different strain rates were obtained and we also have experiments data on properties of the lamina 
at 0 and 90 degrees direction Th so the, all of this data can be used to tune the numerical model of the of the target and the conclusions so uh, we obtained that the polyurea coating with a thickness just 1.2 millimeters allowed to increase ballistic limit of the target by 19 percent so it was about 85 kilometers per, per second uh, with an increase in the mass of, of the sample just by 6 uh, and the 7 percent. Uh, we think that increase in the ballistic limit is achieved through the mm, impact strain distribution over the larger surface of the target coated with polyurea. This allows to increase the total delamination area, the inner fracture. So the uh, obtained experimental data can be used for verification of a numerical model uh, of collision of layered polymer composite material and rigid projectiles. Uh, we know that the applying of a protective coating on the back surface surface of the target slightly increased the amount of absorbed energy just by 15 joules and we think it was due to the cost of the elimination of the coating and its separation from the sample. Um, experimental results here shown that the main fracture mechanism that absorbing the ballistic energy of the projectile is the delamination for the layered composites. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you for your attention and I will be glad to answer your questions.